Good afternoon, guys. This is Gabe Roberts from Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine. Uh, here with just a quick little tip on how to stay hydrated as the temperature begins to increase and you start to sweat a lot more, it's very important to make sure you're replacing everything you're losing. And you're not just losing moisture, you're not losing water, you're losing a complex mixture of minerals as well as salts. And the stuff that you're actually sweating out is not table salt. Uh, table salt is actually pretty toxic. It's got a synthetic iodine as well as an aluminum additive to keep it from actually caking together. So using table salt's not really the best idea. What you wanna use is a uh, Celtic salt you can get from any health food store. And you know, eat that regularly with your food as well as drinking reverse osmosis water. And when you're gonna be outside and you're gonna be um, sweating a lot more and losing more moisture, use that Celtic salt with your water to make sure that your body uh, holds that hydration. You, you, don't, you don't hydrate your cells by just water. Water will not go into the cell. You need a salt or you need a sugar in order to get that water into the cell. And Celtic salt's a great way to ensure you stay hydrated during these uh, temperature changes when the heat goes up. Uh, every year we lose more people to heat waves than we do to hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, thunderstorms, uh, everything else combined naturally. Heat waves take a lot of people out. And a lot of times their doctors told them to avoid salt, go on a low salt diet, and they're on some kind of diuretic. So they're losing even more salts and minerals. Uh, we had a guy come in last year who was constantly sweating, constantly thirsty, and always tired. And uh, when I asked him how much water he drank, it was just a ridiculous amount. It was over 40 bottles of water a day. I had to tell him, you've lost your salts, you've lost your minerals. You need to keep these things in your body in order to hold that moisture. Otherwise, you're not gonna tolerate the heat very well. This is really important for all my ge geriatric patients out there. Make sure you're using salt with water, a good Celtic salt. Now, if your doctors tell you avoid salt, you just gotta think, well, they, they live on an average to be 56 years old today, and the Japanese have lived longer than Americans since documented history. They eat a salt shaker per day per person. That's how important salt is. It's a, it's a true healing food if you use the right kind. And it's nothing, it's, there's never a more important time to do it than in the summer when you're losing lots of water. So I hope this helps. Have a great day.